Hello everyone, my name is Julian. I'm here to do an album review. Um, this time is Chevelle's La Gargola. Now before I get started, I just want to let you guys know uh, I'm in a temporary set right now. I'm in Sigma Studios, but once um, the video studio is done, I will be transferring over and refreshing the channel so you'll see a bunch of cool stuff. Anyway, um, I'll be stationed here for the next couple of reviews until that's done and I'm ready to go. But yeah, so Chevelle, La Gargola, Came out April 1st, 2014, alright? 10 songs, 47 minutes long, and produced by the same person who did Hats Off to the Bull. Uh, and, you know, he leaves his watermark on the album. It's definitely noticeable. Um, the heaviness transferred over and, you know, a certain feel, um, you know, definitely came with with him, you know, being on that, on that album. So, it starts off... Well, first I want to talk about the artwork. It's the name and the artwork really got me thinking... This is either going to be a heavy-ass album or it's going to be a uh, ambient drone, experimental, you know, industrial-looking album. And it, and it looks that way. But um, it starts off with a Ouija board, and that's a fucking great track, you know. Uh, it just got me excited for the rest of the album. And they dropped the ball on the second, al- uh, on the second track, An Island, because it's repetitive. And I was like, oh, no, no, don't do this. But thankfully, from Take Out the Gunman on, the album just goes uphill. Great music, the styles, the vocals, and I'll touch on this, you know, down the road. But yeah, it goes uphill. It has a break right in, you know, in the middle of the track. I mean, in the middle of the album. And then the ending track kind of just lets you down easy. You know, it doesn't end heavy. It ends on a soft, interesting, ambient note. Um, But yeah, One Island the sixth track on the album and that one is also not one island sorry one ocean that one's a very nice and and it's a good break from from the heaviness now take out the gunman became one of their best tracks on spotify and i liked it from the beginning the riff is just great it's tasty if that makes any sense it makes you just i don't know it just takes over you and uh it inspired me to do one of my own songs with that kind of sounding riff so I give them props for doing stuff like that. You know, changing out the strumming pattern. Even that has a lot uh, of impact on how the album sounds. Then just, just fucking smashing up and down the guitar. Um, the first track was also done by... The drums, at least, were done by the bassist. So I mean, I'm talking about like little changes, like changing your strumming pattern or changing what artist does, what player does what, uh, really has a big impact. And I think it's very important because... Some artists just fucking repeat the same process over and over and over again, and I can't do that. And but some some artists do. I don't know. It just it, it kind of kills the sound, and especially if you're a three piece band. You know, you have no one else to kind of freshen up your sound. So I give props to Chevelle. I take my hat off uh, to them for doing for doing that. You know, freshening their sound. They have some songs well just one song that sounds like muse and if if you know what i'm talking about uh you'll definitely hear it if you know muse you'll hear it in the album you'll immediately think like holy shit is this a riff from muse um not not saying that they copied i'm just saying that it's something muse would have made and it tickles my fancy i'm not gonna lie i love muse and that sound was great obviously it detours and it turns into a chevelle song heavy um packs a punch and also the voice and i don't know if i mentioned this before i think i have but the vocalist sounds like uh well, the vocalist from Chevelle and Maynard from Perfect Circle and Tool, uh they have a similar voice and that voice is just perfect for both heavy, ambient drone whatever have you, um, you know whatever music you're doing so it's a blessing you know to have that because you can either have fucking very heavy ass music or soft music and you'll you'll hit it both right you know some some people don't sound right when they sing heavy some people don't sound right singing without you know music being loud in the background so yeah that's what i have to say this album is great from start to finish don't mind that fucking uh second track and yeah i give it um a 7.5 out of 10 it's probably gonna grow on me but just you know good work chevelle i completely take back what i said about them having a 
flushed out monotone sound you know their music is all every, every song i know they try really hard to make it different and they have some great music with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and uh stay tuned